Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we're looking at a blast from the past where Rodney Howard Brown receives an anointing from sitting in Benny Hinn's chair. And so um, I sat down in your chair, and I was pretending to be here, and I looked at the camera, and I, I picked up one of the videotapes, and I, I held it in my hand, and I said, people, I tell you, there's a wonderful are you, anointing. Are you trying to imitate me? Yeah, too? I was trying to imitate you. <laughs> and, and as I had it, I had it in my hand like this. Now, some people think I'm crazy when I say this, but this is a fact. I was there when it happened. If you've ever seen a movie where somebody got struck by lightning, you know, you see that yeah. on the outside? Well, through the chair, the power of God just come up and, and hit me, and Ken Maddox was there, and there were several other people standing around there, and, and my wife, and my eyes got big, and they, they all felt the presence of God. And I just slowly put the video down. And I got up, we were going to go out and eat, and I went to the restaurant, I wouldn't order food. For about 18 hours, I felt that. And right after that, then the miracle anointing increased in my life. It was amazing. I mean, I didn't try to pray for the people, just said I got healed, this, that, whatever. And I mean, I really attribute to that day sitting in your, in, your, in your seat. This is the kind of silly thinking that comes from people involved with the New Apostolic Reformation. Believing that because he sat in Benny's chair, God anointed him with some miracle anointing that he could feel for 18 hours and that people just started getting healed around him. Stories about experiences like this are what many are chasing in this movement. And let's just say, whatever happened to Rodney, if anything actually did happen, was most likely not from God using the chair of a false prophet and teacher to bless another false teacher. But sadly, people will just believe these stories and crave these experiences for themselves. We'll keep it short for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.